Today's video is all about quickly adding rows and columns into your spreadsheet using the Google Sheets app on both your iPhone and Android. So if you just want to quickly add a row or column into your spreadsheet, here's how to do it. And I have my example spreadsheet right here open on my iPhone. So whatever I do right here would actually be the same if I were to do it with an Android. So here in my example, I have started with a template. And if you want to learn how to do that, I will be leaving a card at the top right corner for you to check out later. So going back to this example, if I want to quickly add a row, all I have to do would be to tap on the last row right here. Any cell at the last row would be fine. And you will see those shortcut options at the bottom, which are your insert row below and your insert column to the right. So of course, we're going to tap on insert row. There you have it. We had 27 rows before and now we have 28. If I were to, let's say, add another row just below my unit price right here, let's say from the description, quantity, unit price and total price, I want to add a row below it. I will just tap on the insert row below again. And there you have it. Next one would be our columns. Again, to quickly add a column, go to the last column to the right. There you go. And tap on the option, insert column to the right. And there you have it. We had column H and now we also have column I. Let's try that again. Let's say I want to add a column in between my unit price and my total price. Let's say we're going to add taxes or something. If I'm going to tap on the unit price again and tap on insert column to the right, there you have it. We've successfully added that column in between those two columns. So that's how easy it is to quickly add in rows and columns into your Google Sheets app, both on the iPhone and Android. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more helpful videos and I will see you in the next one.